Tenth November, two thousand twenty-three. Morning, Murli. Om Shanti. Bhattata, Madhupan. Sweet children, you have to become Murli thus. Men's fluid players, like the father. Only Murli the children became the father's helpers. The father is pleased with such children. Question: With children's intellects become very humble. Answer: The intellects of those who donate the imperishable jewels of knowledge and become true philanthropists, and those who become clever salesmen. Became very humble and very refined in doing service. You should never have any arrogance when making a donation. You should always remain aware that you are giving that which Shri Baba has given you. There is benefit in staying in remembrance of Shri Baba. Song, you are the mother and the father. Om Shanti. His name is not proved by simply playing the song. You are the mother and father. If you first play the song, salutations to Shiv, and then you are the mother and father. They would come to know this knowledge. People go to temples. When they go to a Lakshmi and Narayan temple or a Krishna temple, they go in front of the idols of the deities and. Without understanding anything, they say you are the mother and father. So, if you first play the song, salutations to Shiv, and then you are the mother and father, they can come to know his praise. The songs are good for newcomers. They make it easy to explain to them the father's name at Shiv. It cannot be said that. Shiv is omnipresent. Otherwise, everyone's praise would then be the same. He is very name at Shiv. No one else can give himself the name Shiv. His ways and means are unique. They are completely different from those of all human beings, including the deities. Only the mother and father can teach this knowledge. There are no mothers among the sannyasis. That is why the men sannyasis are not able to teach Raj Yoga. They cannot say salutations to Shiv to anyone. You cannot say salutations to Shiv. When referring to a bodily being, all of this has to be explained. But your children are all number wise. Sometimes even good children miss some points. They consider themselves to be very clever. There has to be cleanliness in the heart, and thus, it takes time to speak the truth about everything and to remain true in everything. By your coming into body consciousness, you have familiarity, etc., and many other aspects are included in that. As yet, none of you can say that you have become soul conscious. Otherwise, you would have attained your karma deed stage. All of you are number wise. Some children are very unworthy. It is understood who is doing Baba's service. Only when they climb onto Shri Baba's heart throne, can they come close in the rosary of Rudra and also become worthy of sitting on a throne. It is also the worthy children, those who become his helpers, who climb into. Their physical father's heart throne. This is the unlimited father's business of the imperishable jewels of knowledge. So, the father would also be pleased with those who help him in his business. You have to imbibe the imperishable jewels of knowledge, and also inspire others to imbibe them. Some people think that they have ensured themselves. That they will receive the reward of that. Here, you have to donate to many. Become philanthropist like the father by donating the imperishable jewels of knowledge. The father comes to fill your aprons with the jewels of knowledge. It isn't a question of wealth. The father only likes worthy children. If you don't know 
how to do this business? How could you be called the children of Murlidhar, the businessman? You should be ashamed of yourselves if you don't do any business. When a businessman says that a salesman is clever, he offers him a partnership. You cannot receive a partnership just like that. By doing this business, your intellects become very humble. By doing service, your intellects become very refined. Baba and Mama relate their experiences. Baba is the one who teaches you. You know that this Baba imbibes knowledge very well and also conducts the Murlis very well. Acha, Shri Baba is in this one. He is the Murlidhar anyway. But this Baba also knows everything. Otherwise, how else would he claim such a high status? Baba has explained that you must always consider it to be Shri Baba who speaks this knowledge. By remembering Shri Baba, there is benefit for you. Shri Baba enters this one. Mama speaks separately. And the personality of Mama. Her name has to be glorified because females have to be given a lift. It is said, whatever she is, she is mine. And so, I have to look after her. It is the husband who says this. A wife would not say, whatever he is, he is mine. The father says, whatever your children are, you are mine. And so, I have to look after you. It is the father's name that is glorified. Here, the father's name is glorified anyway. And the names of the Shaktis then have to be glorified. They receive a very good chance to do service. Day by day, service will become very easy. There is knowledge and devotion day and night. The golden and silver ages are the day of happiness. The copper and iron ages are the night of sorrow. There is no devotion in the golden age. It is very easy. But if it is not in your fortune, you are not able to embed it. You receive very easy points. Go and explain this to your friends and relatives. Uplift your homes. You are the ones who live at home with your families and so you can explain these aspects very easily to them. Only the one father from beyond is the bestower of salvation. He is also the teacher and the Sadhguru. All the rest from the Copper Age onwards have been bringing everyone down into degradation. Degraded and sinful souls exist in the Iron Age. There is no mention of sinful souls in the Golden Age. It is now that Hunchbacks and those with stone antlets and sinful souls such as Ajamal exist. For half a cycle, it is called heaven and then devotion begins and your stage of descent begins. You definitely have to fall. From being those of the Sun dynasty, you fall and become those of the Moon dynasty. Then you continue to fall. Everyone you meet from the Copper Age onwards brings you down. Only now do you know this. Day by day, you will continue to gain strength. You also have to invent ways of explaining to the sages and holy men. Ultimately, they will definitely understand why the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, cannot be omnipresent. There are many points you can use to explain. At first, devotion is unadulterated and it then becomes adulterated. The decrees start to decrease. Now there are no decrees left. It has also been shown in the pictures of the tree and the cycle how the celestial decrees decrease. These are the most easy to explain. However, if it is not in your fortune, you are not able to explain them. You do not become soul conscious. You remain trapped in your old bodies. The father says, remove all your attachment from your old bodies and consider yourselves to be souls. If you do not become soul conscious, you will not be able to claim a high status. A student would not want to remain last all the time. 
all his friends and relatives, his teacher and fellow students would understand that he is not interested in studying. Here too, it is understood when someone doesn't follow Srimad, what his condition would be. Everyone can understand who will become subjects and who will become maids and servants. The father explains, bring benefit to your friends and relatives. Thus is a law. When there is an older brother in a home, it is his duty to help the younger ones. Thus is what is meant by charity begins at home. The father says, your wealth will not be reduced by donating it. If you don't donate wealth, you will not receive wealth and you won't be able to claim a high status. You receive a very good chance. You have to become merciful. You also have to become merciful towards the sannyasis and sages. Say to them, come and understand. You don't know your father from beyond. The one who gives the people of Parath their inheritance of constant happiness every cycle. No one knows this. People say that even government officers are corrupt. And so, who can make them elevated? Nowadays, there is a great deal of reward for the community of sages. When you write to them that the Father has mercy for them, men sages and holy men, they will be amazed. As you go further, your name will be glorified. Many will continue to come to you and there will be many exhibitions. Ultimately, some will definitely wake up. Even the sannyasis will wake up. Where else would they go? There is only the one shop. A great deal of improvement will continue to take place. Many good pictures will be made for you to explain so that anyone can come and study. When the hashtag is set ablaze, people will wake up, but it will be too late. The same applies to the children. How far could you run at the end? Even in a race, some run slowly at first. Only a few win a prize. This is also your horse race. Knowledgeable souls are needed to run in this race of the spiritual pilgrimage. To remember the Father is also knowledge. Is it not? No one else has this knowledge. It is by having knowledge that human beings become like diamonds and that through their ignorance they become like shells. The Father comes to create your Sadapradhan reward. Later, this reward will gradually decrease. You should embed all of those points and then act. Your children have to become great donors. Bharat is called a great donor. Because it is here that you send your bodies, minds and wealth to the Father. Then the Father also sent us everything to you. There are many great donors in Bharat. All the rest of human beings are trapped in blind faith. You have come here into God's Aslam. Ravan made you unhappy and so you have taken Aslam with Ram means God. All of you were in the cottage of sorrow. You are now to go to the cottage free from sorrow, that is to heaven. You have taken Aslam with the Father, who is the creator of heaven. Some were brought by force in their childhood. They do not experience any happiness in this refugee. It is not in their fortune. They want to take refuge with Maya Ravan. It is a great wonder that they want to leave God's Aslam and go into the lap of Maya, Ravan. The song, Salutations to Shiv, is very good. You can play this. People don't understand the meaning of it. You can say that you can explain its accurate meaning according to Srimad. They simply continue to play with dolls. According to the drama, you also receive help from their songs. If you belong to the Father, but don't become serviceable, how can you sit on his heart throne? Some children become unworthy and cause so much sorrow. Here, if your mother dies, eat halva. Even if your wife dies, eat halva. You would not whip and well. You have to remain firm on the drama. 
Mama and Baba will depart and the very special children will also depart in advance. Each one has to play his part. What is there to worry about? We observe the play as detached observers. Let your stage constantly be cheerful. Even Baba has thoughts of concern. The law says that they will definitely come. It is not that Mama and Baba have become complete. The complete stage will come at the end. At present, no one can call himself complete. There was thus loss. There was conflict. There were rumors about BKs and the newspapers. All of that also happened a cycle ago. So what is there to worry about? You will attend your hundred person stage at the end. You will be able to climb onto the Father's heart throne when you become merciful and make others become like yourselves. If you ensure yourselves, that's a different matter. You do that for yourselves. You have to give the donation of those jewels of knowledge to others. If you do not remember the Father fully, the burdens of sin on your heads will increase. Worthy ones are needed in order to explain at the exhibitions. They have to be clever. There is great pleasure in having remembrance at night. You have to remember that spiritual bridegroom in the early hours of the morning. Baba. You are so sweet. Just see what I was and what you are making me. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Baptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point, keep your heart constantly true. Always speak the truth and remain constantly true in everything. Do not become body conscious and consider yourselves to be very clever. Never have arrogance. Second point, become a detached observer and observe the play. Remain firm on the drama. Never worry about anything. Keep your stage constantly cheerful. Blessing. May you be a master almighty authority who attends the authority of the kingdom of the world by having the authority of self-sovereignty. Explanation. Those who have the authority of self-sovereignty at this time, that is, those who become conquerors of their physical organs can attain the authority of the kingdom of the world. Only those who have the authority of self-sovereignty can attain the authority of the kingdom of the world. So check, am I? The soul, the master of my soul powers, the mind, intellect and sanskars. Does my mind control me? Or do I control my mind? My sanskars do not pull me to themselves, do they? The state of one who has a right to self-sovereignty is constantly that of a master, almighty authority, one who has no power, messing. Slogan When you keep the key to all treasures, Mira Baba means my Baba with you, nothing else can attract you. Om. Shanti.